Today I would like to talk to you about the unseen victim. Imagine this, a man at an intersection in a car stops to let a bunch of people pulling out of the parking lot go first. That seems extraordinarily polite, doesn't it? And it would be even more polite, just shockingly polite, if there were a ton of cars in that parking lot and he stopped to let them all go first. But what about all the people who are behind him that he's delaying? He's abusing them. This man may never glance in his rearview mirror and will drive away thinking he's a saint. But he isn't. He forced other people to pay for his good feelings. They are his victims, and whether seen or not, they matter. The same trick is played out endlessly every day by people you know, and particularly by politicians. Politicians are famous for exaggerating the benefits and hiding the victims. Emotional news broadcasts will be shown, and anybody who objects to them will be seen as cold, heartless, and cruel because they're preventing these politicians from doing such a good public service. The welfare state is the oldest con game in the world. First you quietly take away men's money, and then you give some of it back flamboyantly and tell everybody how good of a person you are for doing that. A large number of the things that people do as evidence of their compassion are actually paid for by other people. If it may fall to you, speak up for what is right, acknowledging the victims of the so-called good deeds. Learn to recognize where there are unseen victims, and please speak out for them, because if no one does, you are guaranteed the pain will keep on coming.